Hey everyone, Colleen Newman here, Century 21 Action Plus Realty. We're gonna talk a little about title search today and more specifically, why it is so important for buyers to ask the questions to their attorney or whomever to make sure that they are getting the best service possible. And unfortunately, the lack of knowledge that some buyers have means that these questions are not being asked. I am not trying to give you legal advice. I'm not an attorney, but through my experience as a real estate agent, I have seen a variety of scenarios take place. And I hope that you find this educating enough that you take control of your own situation. Monmouth Ocean, Middlesex, New Jersey, where I operate, it is very common for buyers and sellers to be represented by an attorney in their transaction. The attorney is going to have the say in when the title is going to get ordered. And for one reason or another, some attorneys will choose to wait till after maybe home inspection issues have been resolved. Sometimes even the appraisal information coming back to see if the house appraised. Now, I respect this because your attorney's reasoning for this is to save you money. And that's because title can be expensive. But what you have to understand is that there are competitive title companies out there. There are companies that will offer that if the deal does not go through, you as a buyer will not be charged. And so as a real estate agent, it is very frustrating that some attorneys are not choosing to use these title companies and title is getting ordered late in the transaction. Now, nobody goes into a real estate deal expecting the neighbor's garage to be over the property line. Nobody anticipates that the bathroom that you fell in love with in the house you're buying, that the sellers never paid the contractor and the contractor put a lien out on the house. But it can happen. And if you have waited till the end of the transaction to bring this information out for everyone, then all those weeks have now been wasted. And all that time where these issues could have been resolved has now just gone away. And it may seem like it's not a big deal, but if we're talking about lock-in rates with mortgages, if you are going to be penalized, if you don't close by a certain date, which can be common, then you're going to end up having to pay money to stay in this transaction. You might not be able to push your closing date back. You might have, you might be in a job transfer. Who knows? There could be a variety of reasons. And the scary thing is too, that you might not only have a mortgage lock and rate, but if you have to sell your house in order to buy this new house, that means you have a buyer. They probably have a lock and rate. They could be penalized. And because it's your, your, the, your, this other transaction is a reason why you can't close, your buyer might come at you expecting you to pay that penalty because they see it's your fault. And so, I'm not trying to give you all the what ifs and all these terrible stories. What I'm trying to do is just as a buyer, educate yourself, make sure you're asking your attorney questions when you go into the transaction, ask them who their title company is, ask them if they know of any title companies that will not charge you if the deal goes sour. And at least you may not be able to come to an agreement on a hot water heater or an issue with your windows and in inspection, but try to avoid any title issues that will now take time to address. And this can ultimately keep you on, keep you in line to close on time. And it it's just very beneficial. So definitely shop around see the different title companies out there. If you want any names or recommendations on some, I'd be more than happy to do that. You can give me a phone call or send me an email. And I hope you find this helpful and good luck out there. Thanks.